Breaking news. Buhari, Bukola Saraki's aide, clashes over purchase of Tunkan's jets. Hello, my wonderful people. This is the jets the Americans have, um, have they sold to Nigeria, and um, this is causing serious clash between the geo. Uh, former Senate President Bukola Saraki's um, guys and Buhari's guys are clashing, saying that, uh, does Nigeria really need this? You know, the insecurity currently going on in the country, what this jet will do is to ensure that, you know, they come quietly on those who are committing all forms of crime. And before they could say Jack Robinson, they've been apprehended. But guess what? This very uh, insecurity going on in the country is part of what has made the nation you know, to be what it is today. There are people who sincerely are benefiting from the chaos of the country. There are people that as things destroy, they are happy. Okay, it brings them joy. It brings them joy. They, 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 they thrive in the, in the evil going on. Let's get all the details. Five years after the deceptive approval of 496 million dollars given to President Muhammad Buhari's administration for the purchase of 12 A27 Super Tunka aircraft without legislative approval. The Buhari Media Organization and Media Office of the former Senate President Bukola Saraki are still questioning and quarreling over the transaction of what happened. The Buhari's media organization had in a statement titled Tunkan Jet. Saraki lied, actually wanted to impeach Buhari on the purchase, accused the former pres Senate president of lying about playing a positive rule leading to the acquisitions of the military hardware. In a statement signed by his chairman, Ni Akin Soji, the secretary of MBO says, it has come to our notice that the former Senate president and presidential aspirant on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Bukola Saraki, has been given the impression that an in intervention he spearhead paved way for the sales of the aircraft to Nigeria. But this, we have observed, is not true. While we understand that he needed to make himself look good, at the time he is seeking his party's presidential ticket, we may both to say that the claim is false and there is no truth in it. A timeline of the interaction that led to the deal shows that the then President Donald Trump had without within one month in office assured President Muhammad Buhari during a phone call in February 2017 of his readiness to support Nigerians' plan to, post, to procure the counter to, to procure the jet to counter insurgents and through the aircraft. In response, Abu Bakr, Bukola Saraki, media officers dismissed the claim by the MBO, a product of an empty propaganda machineries. Head of the head of his group, Mr. Yusuf, in a statement titled Tunka Jet, Revelation decided to say the propaganda was wrong and it was a propaganda to make it look like Buhari's administration was working. But it said Bukola Saraki was deceiving the people. The role Bukola Saraki played in the that led the 8th National Assembly in getting the Americans to sell the jet, the aircraft, to Nigeria to fight Bukos in 2017 as a mere antics for him to get the presidential ticket. It's all on empty propaganda and the machineries on that lack substance. He lied so that he can get the presidential ticket of APC. So this is what is going on now. President Muhammad Buhari and Bukola Saraki's group are having, you know, real issues. Real issues are going on. The fight is continuing that um, Buhari did not... Uh, uh, Bukola Saraki, uh, he was not, uh, he did not uh, aid the purchase of the jets. That is all a lie. Okay, he's just trying to get PDP presidential ticket. Now he's looking for a soft landing and just trying to say that he supported Buhari in ensuring that you know such you know such happened. That is all a lie. That he did not support in any way. Well, these are some of the words we are hearing. Uh, they, they'll begin to reveal themselves. The truth of the matter is, 
they work in synergy. So don't get it twisted. Don't think they know exactly what they are doing. You, when you see them in parties, you will wonder exactly what is going on. You know, it's the people who stand with them and fight because of them. They are the ones I have a strong and a serious feeling for. I feel for those ones strongly because you are the only one deceiving yourself. You are just the one deceiving yourself. You, you decided to live a lie. Okay, you decided, you, you knew that you are being lied to and you decided to humor it and to accept it and to, you know, you, there's a way you lie to yourself so much so that you, you feel that you are telling the truth. Now, this has become the order of the day in terms of what Bukola Saraki himself and Buhari and how things have been. Well, uh, they are talking about the jet that he released money. My dear, the money being released in Nigeria, only God knows where those money go to. The money Buhari borrow, only God knows where those money go to, to whom it may consign. You know, those money just enters into thin air. And guess what? They develop wings and they fly away. Those money, ah, no, they enter into thin air, they develop wings and off they go. So the truth remains that we must all, with one accord, continue to, you know, ensure that we work in synergy and bring to end, you know, evil going on in the society. So at the end of the day, we are better people. Okay, and our voices can be heard. We cannot continue with the same lines and the same way things have been and expect a different result. Bukola, Saraki, Buhari, all of them, they are all bits of a feather. So if you think you are getting a different perspective, that one person is better than the other, I beg to defer that you are making a huge mistake. These are all the same people. Okay, these are all people working in synergy and working as one. So you think that you have somebody who has a heart and a mind and, and, and is doing the right thing and uh, wants good for the people, but you'll be shocked and surprised that most of them, you know, do not share the same ideology and all they share is perspective that um, gives them that kick. So they are just working for themselves and not because they really care of what, you know, when anything going on with Nigerians, you see. So these are some of the days that are upon us. And the truth of the matter remains, unless we begin to make real decisive impacts, you know, and make a change on what is currently happening, the system will continue. Just like a circle, there is no end. Just like a circle, there is no end. So we can't allow this same set of people call the shot because most of them, they don't even have a clue or they don't want to have a clue on what all that is going on, you see. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Let's hear what you think. Bye for now.